Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you found what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. As you can see from the intro, I am not a Maserati mechanic or an automobile mechanic. I am an automobile enthusiast that was encouraged to help a friend, Karen, with her Maserati Gran Turismo. This three-part video is about uh, protecting the engine variators from wear. If you have a Maserati Gran Turismo or a Maserati Quattroport built from 2007 to 2009 with the 4.2 liter V8 engine, your vehicle's engine, if it doesn't have this issue yet, it will develop this issue. So it is encouraged that you either do this modification or have someone do this modification for you before you have the wear and the variators that will cause engine noise. Engine noise at startup and engine noise uh, when you let your foot off the throttle and in a, a bad situation as this issue worsens, you can have engine noise while you're driving around town. It's a rattling sound when you start, when you let off the gas or while you're driving around that is a problem with wear in the uh, variators. Uh, the issue is believed to be caused because too much of the oil drains off of the cylinder head. Now these variators, when they get to a certain wear point, they simply need to be replaced. If you catch them early enough, you can do this modification, uh, take the valve covers off, take the cam holder off, they call it a cam bearing cap or something off, send them to a machine shop to have them modified in a way that would help retain oil on top of those cams and help lubricate those variators sooner when their cold starter been drained off and that'll help yeah of course your engine will last longer and help prevent you from needing to replace those variators ever or as soon as they may i'm not sure but i think karen's maserati gran turismo has about a hundred and thirty six thousand miles something like that when she started noticing the noise on startup she quit driving a car and did some research found out about this tech bulletin uh, through maserati and had this done and of course i helped her with it now as you'll see in the next couple of videos this video talks about the modification machine shop does the next video will show you how to remove the valve covers and those uh, cam holders i call them i think they call them the cam bearing holders and once you get them back the last video shows you how to put those valve covers back on which is a very tricky thing so I did this for modest uh, modest pay from her I'm not a Maserati mechanic so this may not be perfect you know uh, I'm just doing what I know from my experience in doing maintenance I was a trained aircraft mechanic I uh, have worked on cars as an automobile enthusiast for many years I'm a kind of a Volvo specialist these variators are similar to what some vehicles have in their engines called uh, VVT hubs uh, so you do want to do this modification if yours hadn't been done again it's affected the 4.2 liter engines from 2007 up to 2009 the engine serial numbers is 148,697 and below. So if your engine serial number is higher, that engine has had improvements to prevent this problem. I hope you find the videos useful or whoever you have hired to do this job finds it useful. If you are a Maserati tech or mechanic and you have some useful information that you can share in the form of a comment, I will be glad to take that information and put it into the comment section of this video to help others. It's not always convenient for owners to ship their car several hundred miles to have this done, you know, so it's helpful to have videos like this to help them. 
if you've used the videos, you found them useful, and uh, you have some information you can add that's useful, feel free to put it in a, a remark below, and I will pin it if it's very detailed and, and full and useful. If it has like tech torque specs or something like that, I will add those torque specs into the comment section. I haven't been able to uh, find those and I'm not going to buy a Maserati tech manual to get those. So if you have torque specs or something like that you'd like to share, please do so. I'll put them in the comments. If you want to th throw me a tip, a couple of bucks for sharing this information, I'm not getting paid to make this uh, video. You can uh, use the link to my website in the comments. Go to tips and donation page. Send me a couple bucks. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let me go ahead and get into the repair process on this stuff. Hopefully, if you don't know if yours has been done, you could take one of the cam covers off, preferably the U.S. driver's side one that doesn't have the fuse box and all that other stuff on there. You can pull that cam cap, cam bearing holder cap off. Look at that part. See if that modification has been done. If it's been done, you're done. You're good to go. If it has not been done, Use the information in the comment section of the video. Ship that stuff off. We sent ours off. It was received, I believe, on a Friday morning. They signed for the part. Friday evening, they had the modification done to the cam caps. Shipped them back to us the same day. I'm not saying that that's how they normally uh, turn those around. I'm saying this place was very efficient in getting ours returned to us. We put them back in the car. We started the car, barely had any rattling, took the car for a short drive, parked the car, let the car cool off the next day, started the car, had a little bit of rattling, drove the car for a couple of hours that second day. Parked the car, let it sit several days, started the car up, started immediately, quiet as a mouse, we don't have any more noise in ours. So we believe we caught them in time. Even if you do get occasional rattling in them, I think it's okay. Some people, as those parts wear, they get rattling every time they start the car and then it goes away. As the wear gets worse, they get the rattling when they let off the gas. And then when it gets really bad, it rattles all the time. You don't want to let yours get to that point. You got to get in there and get that fixed. Now, this modification can prevent you from needing to replace your variators. If yours is noisy every time you start it, noisy while you're driving it, it's probably time to replace the variators as well as do this modification on the cam uh, caps. Now, these cam holders, bearing holders, you cannot purchase those separately. You have to purchase those as part of a cylinder head. So you don't want to have to do that. But I think you can get the variators that go both onto the cams. So you want to do this modification, you don't want to buy a whole cylinder head. If you got any questions, leave it below. Hopefully somebody that knows more about it can answer those questions. Uh, again, there's a tech bulletin that came out in 2015 about it. And uh, a lot of cars had it done. If you don't know if yours has been done, you want to work on getting this done. Let's get started. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.